and then when you are ready to start another time after I set that other different. So alternating different times if you want it on that timer is very convenient little kitchen timer. My first tool. <laughs> Actually, that wasn't that wasn't my streaming software. That was just me. <laughs> that was just me. I didn't know what I was doing. Um, so so my first my first tool. Um, let me see if I can uh, get this to get this to work. I'll move over a little bit. Um, here we go. Um, yeah, yeah. So here we are. Uh, the first tool uh, that I'm gonna share with you um, is uh, Pomodoro. So do you know about Pomodoro? Uh, the idea of Pomodoro is it's a productivity tool, but actually um, it's a useful way for you to mentally set a schedule for yourself as well. Um, this has been phenomenally useful for me dealing with my hyper focus issues um, and also motivational uh, limitations. Um, you know, tired, tired all the time, and I just want to sleep all day, and or I, I can't really choose what I want to do on my day off. So maybe I just won't do anything. Uh, well, Pomodoro is great. Um, the idea of Pomodoro it, it started with um, a uh, someone invented a timer and a productivity method around a timer, and the original timer was shaped like a tomato. And that's what Pomodoro means in French. It, it means it means tomato. <laughs> it, was a, it was a kitchen timer. And and you could set different times on the timer. So you could set one time, start it, and then when it finishes, set a different time and start it. And then when you are ready to start another time after I set that other different. So alternating different times if you want it on that timer is very convenient little kitchen timer. And, and that's how it works here. Um, so this uh, channel, YouTube channel, and I put the link in the in my description, it's called Study Pomodoro and it uses the Pomodoro timer, but they've, they've taken liberties um, to, to help with this. So it's different times. You get to choose the, the time or you can choose the, the feel or you can choose the mood. And how it works is they, they break it down in the same organizational structure as the Pomodoro timer, which is um, 20 minutes or 25 minutes of active focused work. You do one thing and only one thing for 25 minutes. This is just, let's just say. And then when the timer goes off, there's another timer that's five minutes. And that five minutes is rest time. You can't do you can't finish up the task you were doing. You have to stop. You have to drop what you're doing. Go do another thing. Um, so look, make some tea. Uh, get up a stretch. Uh, go uh, make a phone call uh, to, to someone nice. Um, not a work-related call, but I'm not going to call a friend or send a message. Uh, check your messages if you want. Go look outside. Take your dog out. Basically, that's it. And then... The timer starts again, 25 minutes. You have to do something productive. You have to do something. And then uh, then the timer goes off again, you have to, and you have to five minutes to rest, and then 25 minutes. And I think it's a cycle of three. I think. I could be wrong. Or it actually is up to you. But you can't do it all morning or all day, or certainly not all day. But you can't do it all morning. You can't, you can't use it as your... Um, office start to lunchtime period. You can't do that. That's not how it's supposed to work. It's, it's supposed to be in a series of something, like a series of three, two or three, maybe four, although I don't think you're allowed to, maybe four. Um, so you're productive, then a five minute break, productive, uh, something. Oh, oh, and the other thing I forgot to mention is uh, task one is task one. So you do something focused for 25 minutes, then take a five minute break, and then do task two, which is different. For example, maybe I might check my emails, work on my emails for 25 minutes, timer goes off, shut down my emails, and then take the dog out, bring the dog back in, and then work out for 25 minutes, just work out. Focus workout, focus exercise. 
Timer goes off, stop what I'm doing, 25 minutes, go get some water or start my tea kettle, right? Uh, get some music going. Then another cycle, 25 minutes, um, look at my uh, task board and go through and check off all the things that are on my to-do list and finish up little, little tying up loose ends and finish up those things. And then the timer goes off that I'm done for the day. Or cycle back again, check my emails again. Are there any follow-up emails I need to look at? Do that for 25 minutes, stop, and maybe do a light workout, like a light, light exercise or stretches, but something physical, break, and then come back again, and then maybe work on you know, something you know, productivity related, like, like you know, work on one of my tasks on the to-do, something that is gonna be like crunch time for that day, work on that hard, just really just work on only that thing, and then when the timer goes off, that's it for Pomodoro. Put that aside, maybe take a coffee break or what have you, then when I come back to my regular work day or schoolwork or what have you, but it's that very focused time that you spend and that has helped me with my mental health so much. And this YouTube channel is basically just a Pomodoro timer. You just get to choose your vibe. Uh, so the first one that I did, I checked out, uh, was the um, two and a half hour one. Uh, it looks like this, uh, I turned the music off. Um, because I can't play music on my streams because copyright, blah, 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 blah. Uh, but then you get, the, you get the basic idea. Forward velocity, hey, how's it going, man? Um, yeah, so basically, you get, the, you get the general idea. This is uh, just a, basically just a YouTube video. You set the vibe for your Pomodoro timer. Yeah.